Hello everyone, it's me again, Teacher She. Today, we are going to discuss about addition of integers. But before that, don't forget to like and click the subscribe button below. Thank you. So, let's proceed. There are three ways in adding integers. What are those? Using the algebra tiles, using the number line, and using the rules. Let me discuss you first how to add integers using the algebra tiles. Let represent all the positive numbers with the blue tiles and the red tile to represent all the negative numbers. For every positive and negative number pair, that will be equal to zero. Remember that we can have a zero pair if we have one positive or blue tile and one negative or red tile. So to understand it further, I have here an example. 3 plus 5. Now, using the algebra tile, look at the given. 3 is a positive number. And positive number is represented by a blue tile. So, we put 3 blue tiles here plus 5. 5 is also positive. So, we add 5 blue tiles here. Now, is there a zero pair? May nakikita ka bang red and blue tiles sa representation? Correct! There is no zero pair. So, we just count how many tiles are there. So, yes, there are 8 tiles. So, therefore, 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Okay, so your answer is positive because blue tile or blue tiles is the representation of all positive numbers. Let me remind you again na kapag ang number ay positive, no need na nating lagyan ng plus symbol, okay? Another example. 4 plus negative 3. Now, let's make a representation of a given. 4 is positive. So, we put 4 blue tiles in here, plus negative 3. Now, since 3 is negative, we're going to add 3 red tiles in here. Now, let's apply the zero pair. As I said, we can have a zero pair if we have 1 positive and 1 negative tile. So, how many zero pair in the given? 1, 2, 3. And that is zero pair will be cancelled. Wala na siyang value. Now, how many tiles left? Yes, one tile. And what color is that? Yes, blue. So, it means our answer is positive 1. So, therefore, 4 plus negative 3 is equal to 1. Next example. Negative 4 plus negative 5. So again, negative 4 represented by red tiles. So we put 4 red tiles in here plus negative 5. And again, negative numbers is represented by red tiles. So we put 5 tiles in here. Now, is there a zero pair? None. So count how many tiles are there. So there are 9 tiles. And the color of tiles is red. So, therefore, the answer is negative 9. So, negative 4 plus negative 5 is equal to negative 9. Another example. Negative 8 plus 2. Again, we put 8 red tiles and 2 blue tiles. Now, as you can see, there is a zero pair. So, we are going to cancel it. So, 1, 2. Therefore, negative 8 plus 2 is equal to negative 6 because there are 6 tiles or 6 red tiles remaining. How about using number line? Again, number line has 0, positive, and a negative numbers. Let me use the given example that we have in algebra tiles. So, 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Let's see if the answer will be the same if we use the number line. Remember that we always begin at 0. 
Since the first integer is positive 3, we move 3 places or 3 units to the right of 0. So, 1, 2, 3 plus 5. And 5 is positive number. We just continue moving to the right. So, 5 places more. The stopping point is our answer. And the stopping point in this given is 8. Therefore, 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. As you observe, the answer from our given is the same whether we are using the algebra tiles or the number line. It's up to you kung saan ka mas comfortable. Now, let's have another example. 4 plus negative 3. And ang sagot kanina, when we are using the algebra tiles, is 1. Let's see if we come up with the same answer. Again, begin at 0. 4 is positive. So, move 4 places to the right of 0. Plus, negative 3. Since 3 is negative, we are going to move 3 places to the left. So, from 4, kung saan tayo nag-stop kanina, mag-move tayo papuntang left side ng 3 places. So, the stopping point is 1. Therefore, 4 plus negative 3 is equal to 1. Another one. Negative 4 plus negative 5. And, ang nakuha natin kaninang sagot is negative 9. Again, we start from 0. And 4 is negative, so we move 4 places to the left of 0. Plus negative 5. And 5 is negative, so add 5 more places. So, the stopping point is negative 9. Therefore, negative 4 plus negative 5 is equal to negative 9. Last example, negative 8 plus 2 is equal to negative 6. Again, begin from 0, move 8 places to the left because 8 is negative, then move 2 places to the right because 2 is positive. And the stopping point is negative 6. So, therefore, negative 8 plus positive 2 is equal to negative 6. Now, let's proceed to adding integers using rules. Did you know that among three ways of solving integers, using rules is the best way in solving integers? Because algebra tiles and number line can be used in smaller value. How about if we have 100, 1000, or higher than that na ia-add natin? It is hard or time-consuming if we are using those two ways of adding integers, which is the algebra tiles and the number line. So, in here, we just need to remember the rules. If we have like sign or same sign, example, if they are all positive numbers or all negative numbers, you are going to add the number and use the common sign. Again, ang tatandaan mo lang kapag pareha ang sign nila, add mo lang tapos kopyahin mo ang sign. So, kung positive ang ina-add mo, positive ang sign ng sagot mo. At kung negative numbers naman ang ina-add mo, negative numbers din ang sagot mo. Okay? So, how about if they are unlike sign o magkaiba ang sign? Subtract the number and use the sign of the integers with a bigger number or greater absolute value. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Kapag daw magkaiba ang sign nila, halimbawa, positive ang isa, negative ang isa, so kahit addition or add ang nakalagay na operation, ang gagawin mo ay minus mo yung numbers, tapos gagayahin mo lang ang sign ng number na may mas mataas na value para yun ang ilagay mong sign sa final answer mo. So, to understand it further, these are the examples. So, for example, 3 plus 5, they are like sign. So, you're going to add 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Ano yung sign nila? Positive. So, the answer is positive also. So, it will become positive 8. Another one, 4 plus negative 3. They are unlike sign. So, since they are unlike sign, you are going to subtract. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. 
Now, sino mas mataas sa kanila? Is it 4 or 3? Yes, 4. So, dahil positive si 4, gagayahin natin yung sign niya. So, the final answer is positive 1. Okay, next, number 3. Negative 4 plus negative 5. They are like sign. So, just add. 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. And the sign is negative. So, therefore, the answer is negative 9. Last example, negative 8 plus 2. They are unlike sign, so you are going to subtract. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. And 8 is greater than 2. So, gagayahin natin ang sign ni 8. So, the answer is negative 6. Now, it's your turn. Find the sum of the following. 9 plus negative 4. Since they are unlike sign, you are going to subtract. So, 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. What will be the sign of final answer? So, positive 5. Bakit? Kasi 9 is greater than 4. And the sign of 9 is positive. Next number. Negative 5 plus negative 6. So, what will be the answer? Yes, it's negative 11 because they are both negative. Next, negative 3 plus negative 5. The answer is negative 8. Next, negative 5 plus 8. The answer is positive 3. Because they, since they are unlike sign, you are going to subtract. So, 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. And 8 is greater than 5. So, we are going to copy the sign of the number that has a greater absolute value. Next, negative 2 plus 2. The answer is 0. How about if we have more than 2 integers na i-add? Always remember, first, we are going to combine the same sign o yung magkapareha muna ng sign. So, yung negative 4 at saka yung negative 8, i-add muna natin silang dalawa. So, it will become negative 12. Tapos, plus 7. Then, after that, proceed na tayo sa kung paano tayo mag-add ng integers. So, they are unlike sign. Subtract. 12 minus 7 is equal to 5 and the sign will be negative because 12 is greater than 7. Next, number 7. Again, add the 3 and 10. So, it will become 13. And then, negative 5 plus 13. So, since they are unlike sign, you are going to subtract. And the final answer is 8. So, that's all for today. Next lesson, subtraction of integers. Thank you for watching.